Hey, this is Mike and Danielle redoing our old house. Um, today we're going to be doing our table. We're going to reupholster our chairs. This is what they look like now, which is really pretty, but it's really old and <clears throat> been refinished several times. And we would like to put something new on it so that it doesn't frazzle and wear out and all that. So we have gone with this. I'm a little blingy, so as you can see, it kind of ties all the colors of our house together. So we're going to refinish our chairs. Very, very easy to do. The chairs are about 1900 period um, depression pieces, Duncan Fife. Uh, table's probably worth anywhere from 10000 to $20,000, um, depending on where you buy it. I happen to look up on a deal through a antique dealer for about five fifty six hundred dollars so anyway uh, we ordered about two yards of fabric from Hobby Lobby um, so about twenty dollars a yard and you get fifty percent off so um, we spent about twenty dollars on fabric altogether to redo the the uh, reupholster the chairs and it's heavy uh, reup heavy upholstery fabric um, we'll have to scotch guard these as well Okay, Michael's going to show you what we're going to, what you got to do to it. We're not professionals by any means, but this is the way to do it on a dime. So here is Mike going to uh, show you what we're going to do. In the bottom of the chairs, there is some screws, and you just undo the screws to remove the wooden board at the bottom. He won't let me touch the screws because they'll end up in somewhere like the refrigerator or something, you know. And you see the wood is really old, but like you said, the screws have come in and out several times. And it just pops off like that. So, you take it. Don't look at my mess. Refurbishing a home is quite messy. And we pre cut our fabric into 24 inch by 24 inch squares, which it would depend on your chairs as to what you had to do. Place it on there and line it up. It's a nice plaid, so it doesn't matter which direction the fabric lays, it's still going to match. Got to think ahead. Line it up. and then he starts stapling it. They had it glued on, but my bunch is so rowdy that we're going to staple it on, and then I'll go back with pinking shears after he's done with it, or some nice fabric glue, and glue the frayed ends under, cut them off, and then glue it, you know, glue it under so it doesn't fray anymore. And he just wraps it around it. And my dusting rags are on the end of the couch for the chairs. They're very dusty. The house that we're refurbishing was built in around 1892, so from what we get from the people in the area. Lumber. you got to hammer your staples down. He wants to make sure you know that. You now, women love a staple gun. Anything with a staple gun is like a dream. So he goes back and he hammers the staples in really well. And I know that this can be cut, but for reinforcement, we didn't cut it. We just left it like that so that it doesn't um, pull away from the corners easily. We have a rowdy bunch of boys. And I imagine a rowdy bunch of grandkids when we have them. The wood sounds like it's really hard. We could have put new cushions in, and I did buy new cushions, but we decided to leave them the way they were because they're already formed to the chair, and after almost 100 years, or well, 100 years, um, we figured that that was the best thing to do was leave the cotton backing and batting that's inside there. Everybody's just kind of covered over it, so we're just going to cover over what's already there. And they're really, you know, they're plush enough to sit and have 
a nice dining experience for a holiday or something. The bad thing about upholstery fabric is the loose ends. You don't definitely want to go back over that and glue it down, you know, put a piece of glue tape or whatever fabric tape over the top. Something to keep them from, you know, continuously fraying away. Like I say, we're not professionals, but this is how to do it on a dime. Yeah, he picked on me about staples. Got that sucker stapled down. Sorry about the TV. He's not very nice. Not a very nice TV show on. Don't know what it is, but it just got left on after we finished watching, and I'm so sorry it's in the background. Why are you reading this stuff, Roger? It's not helping you. Look, when you got to break this stuff, And there's your cushion. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And he's going to take it back over. Into the bottom. Put it back on. And screw it back in. You don't have to pay anybody to do this. It's really simple. I mean, it may not be done the best. It has professional results, but, you know, who's going to look up under your chair? So, once they're redone, wiped down with some Old English or whatever, you've got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dining room table, which we're going to have to redo as well. The top was not, not nice. And there is your chair. So that is what it looks like in the end. And once the wood has been redone, that's what you're going to end up with. Don't look at the floor. We haven't redone the floor yet. Sorry about that. So anyway, you see, this is Mike and Danielle redoing our 112-year-old house.